communication. Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 17 to 20. Then I said to them, You see the distress that we are in, how Jerusalem lies waste and its gates are burned with fire? Come and let us build the wall of Jerusalem, that we may no longer be a reproach. And I told them of the hand of my God, which had been good upon me, and also the king's words that he had spoken to me. So they said, Let us rise up and build. Then they set their hands to do this good work. But when Sanballat the Horonite, Tobiah the Ammonite official, and Geshem the Arab heard of it, they laughed at us and despised us and said, What is this thing that you are doing? Will you rebel against the king? So I answered them and said to them, The God of heaven will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build, but you have no heritage or right or memorial in Jerusalem. The next lesson we learn from Jeremiah's journey into fulfilling what God had put in his heart, uh, a very important key is communication. And we see how Jeremiah communicated uh, what he was carrying in his heart to the people at Jerusalem. First of all, he challenged them about the, uh, the problem. He said, you know, you see the city, you see how uh, uh, how things are. You look at the walls. He challenged them about uh, the need. But then he also encouraged them with his own testimony of what God had been doing in his life. He shared with them about how the king had so much favor uh, and had given him all of permissions for everything that was needed. And that really captured the attention of people. And so when God gives us a vision and we realize that any God-given vision is bigger than one individual, God may give the vision to an individual, but He never expects that individual to fulfill that vision alone. It is always intended to be fulfilled by a company of people, by a group of people who become part of that vision, who partner in that vision. But in order to uh, have people come in and be a part of the vision, communication is so important. We need to communicate the task before us. We also need to communicate the testimony of God's working for us. And these two things will capture uh, the attention of people, will encourage the hearts of people, and they will come and be a part of that vision. And so we hear how the people themselves spoke and said, let us rise up and build. And they put their hands to work. Uh, on, on what God had called Nehemiah to do. See, that's so powerful that in any vision God has given to us, communication transfers that vision from one man's heart in the hearts and lives of many people who then become part of this vision and it becomes a collaborative, cooperative effort to see God's work accomplished here on earth. That's what, Nehemiah, that's what happened in Nehemiah's case. The people got together to build this work. Let's pray together. Father, we ask you for wisdom, for clarity, for understanding, to how to clearly and powerfully communicate the vision you placed in our hearts, to share that dream with others, to let others come in and partner with us or be a part of that vision so that your work can be accomplished here on earth. For your glory and honor, in Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.